one. Hey guys, it's Dylan here, and today we're back in RAR, and I have Ari with me still. Yep, always and forever, because yeah. this game would be just still in the time, yeah. actually. <laughs> oh, no crap! Wow, Sorry. fuck you, too. <laughs> no, I just I accidentally made Skype appear. <laughs> yeah. No. Don't worry, you can always cut it. <laughs> I, I can, but then I'd actually be missing a joke. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, so um, yeah, no. If 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 Ari wasn't here, it'd just be me, and that's boring as shit. So, I know I'm doing it by myself would have been boring too. But these kind of games are more fun with at least one other person. Oh yeah, no, seriously, we've uh, we've been watching the Game Grumps play uh, Soccer Spirit, and we just sit there and laugh because of the crazy voices that they do. Yep. So, and it makes us so that playing like this, like, we just have to do some voices like that. We don't want... <laughs> I don't watch much Game Grumps, but I do watch that, and it's ridiculous. Fucking Ross. I don't like talking about the Let's Players that I watch in my videos. I don't like talking about it. I feel you. It's like both competition and, like... I, mean, I don't know, just something kind of weird about yeah, it. Yeah, it makes I, it feel like I'm trying to, like, promote their channel. It's like, I don't want to be talking yeah. like that. It's true. Anyway. I mean, I mean, if me talking about it makes more people want to watch my videos, that's fine with me. But I mean, I doubt it. <laughs> it is just kind of funny. Anyway, guys. <laughs> anyway, guys, we're gonna go ahead and get started now. Um, so we left off on uh, why didn't you stop me? So because it was kind of important information. Great. Now I look like a fool again. I need to be more careful about that. Lieutenant! She's gone out loud like that, though. It would have been funny if she had done that again. <laughs> yeah. Lieutenant Zuri! Yeah, yeah! Safety, security, what was the last S word you're always saying? Swords? Hmm. Why would we ever criticize your practice of swords? I don't know. I really don't pay attention. Obviously. Uh. I mean, yes, Major! Safety, security, and swords! Just fall out. Yes, Commander! Completely oblivious. Zuri, just don't let us get killed. How about mauled? No. Ravaged? Ravaged, not ravaged. Oh, Sorry. Uh, no. <laughs> Two completely different words. Maimed? Don't encourage her. I know I shouldn't, but I'm trying my best not to lose my cool. My first real ground site investigation. The butterflies in my stomach won't stop zooming around my gut. Four people under my command? I have to be on point. I have to be the razor's edge. They are counting on me. Time to earn those major stripes, Natalie. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. I called us a lieutenant. We're actually a major. We are. I, I kind of hope you guys yell at me for that one, because I have not been paying attention. Yeah. It happens. This background is about as vague as the backgrounds I do, and yet still so much better than the background. It's super <laughs> fucking vague. And yet, like, some of the, like, I don't know, just, I'm already thinking of how I can do it inside. <laughs> anyway. Artist planet that has no name, a world that has no civilization. The woods are as still as the lost grave of the adventurer's Killick Harnson. Adventurer Killick Harnson. No. Bad. No. Stop thinking about dead Saitos. If you think about the names on the wall, you're going to end up being one. Still, the comparison is warranted. It's so silent around here. So still. Not even a breeze is blowing through the aban abandoned campsite. Such peacefulness sits ill in my heart. We should return to the ship. It's okay. We just scared all the animals away with the ship engines. They'll return in time. And eat us, perchance? Very possible. I don't know. Stop worrying, Colonel. I checked the scanners and nothing bigger than a my fist has arrived for five miles around us. Was registered. Like, yeah, arrived. I arrived. I don't. I don't know why my brain did. <laughs> Two very different words. I know. I don't understand what just happened. But <laughs> nope. Yep. Nothing bigger than our fists. But you know what? 
<laughs> Never mind, I'm not, I'm not gonna get into it. Next page. <laughs> Small can still be ferocious. Get true. With all due respect, we should live in our voices to not disturb any potential wildlife, sir. Major Pusil, are you ready? The sudden shift of Soul's professionalism towards me catches me off guard for a moment, but I grab it as an anchor. Focus is key. This is no different than a training mission. I am ready. Wow, really? Would you say it like that? I guess. You'd probably say, I'm ready. I am I'm ready. ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah. I, I am ready. Nobody touch anything. The clues around here could be anything. Then I am heading back to the shuttle. If you need me, my lady, please call. That will be fine, sir. If you need a break, I could always use the company. We've got work to do. We're yours to command, Major Pusil. The fact that we sent Stan back, though, is kind of worrying to me, because I feel like we're going to find somebody injured, and it's going to be like, WE NEED A MEDIC! Or even worse, he's up to something. No, he's not up to anything. He's on the he ship. There's no steal things. <laughs> he's well, going... the ship's subtle, so it's like a little pod. I was going to say, he's going to steal things, you said? Yeah, like, the civilization might have, like, treasure or ancient artifacts he could sell no, or something. No, he, he went back he up to the ship. The shuttle of the ship. Well, he that could be He's not going anywhere, trust me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lieutenant Zuri, I want you setting up sensors and seeing what you can and seeing what you can about any remaining camp defenses. Already did Re really? It was the first thing I did when I came off the shuttle. It'd be really bad of me to let you step on a landmine or something. She's Right, I should have had her check the first second she stepped off. Mistake. Surprisingly good work from you. Don't sound so surprised all the time, please. Then, could you keep an eye out for any potential threats? Of course. Nobody's going to hurt you while I'm here. My gut tells me that casual remark is a serious one. It's a comforting thought to know somebody is ensuring my safety. Captain Moonfollow, I want your help in determining what happened to the camp's residents. The camp looks almost spotless, too spotless to be abandoned. I need to study the local fauna anyway. Our mission takes priority. Don't lose focus. So... Major Hackett. M Major. My mission to investigate flora and fauna is a mission from the board of directors. Yours is Space Force Directed. My mission trumps yours. No, wait, just... But I can do both. You can count on me, Natalie. Thanks. She, ne <sighs> she needs to remember we are a team, not a bunch of lone wolves. If she had her own mission, we can't hold a grudge. Orders are orders. Whatever. Focus, Major Hackett. I need you to help me look for clues about where they were, what they were looking for here. This place reeks of strangeness. But we are in agreement. Why here? Why this place? I don't see any good reason to stay here. That's what we need to figure out. And may luck bless us. I'll report anything I find. I walk through the camp with the utmost care. Any potential delicate clue could be lying underfoot. I have to be cautious. But as I nose around the tents, it is the lack of clues that highlights itself to me. There's no sign of a struggle, no sign of an attack by wildlife that could have driven the researchers away, no signs of a hasty departure. Why would someone abandon all of their survival gear? Yet, I cannot find any trace of what they were doing. All computers, all documentation are consequently... Er, not consequently, conspicu conspicuously absent. Personal, mm -hmm. personal effects are also strangely absent. I can find plenty of jackets for what I suppose would be cold nights, but I can't find a single picture of somebody's loved ones. Why? I sit, <laughs> I sit down on one of the thin, collapsible chairs around a table that I could only presume once held a computer held computer racks. There has to be something here that I'm missing. 
Were they planning on returning soon? Maybe an excursion into the local area? Still, why would they take all of their computer equipment, but none of their survival gear? Bridge, this is ground team. Go ahead, ground team. Requesting a scan for any humanoid life forms within a 50 mile radius of our site. Wilco, we'll send you the results in 10. I copy. Thanks. There isn't any point in doing that, Nat. What makes you say that? Zuri flares her wings like a hawk zooming in on its prey. I have to resist the urge to jump back. I can feel the disturbance on the wind. The voice of the world. Wow, I thought she'd like fly up and look around. <laughs> <laughs> Instead, she's like, there's a disturbance in the forest. Yes, the mud... The Midichlorians? Midichlorians. <laughs> anyway, you, you can? Your wings are sensitive enough to detect those sort of things? It takes a lot of work to decipher what I feel, but you don't get to, but you don't get to perform if you can't feel the wind. Oh my God. When a warrior's spirit is in harmony with the world, all of its secrets will be revealed. Ah, uh, warrior. <laughs> I knew it would be a good idea to bring you along. You along. What do you feel? What secrets are out there? Um... I'm sorry, I'm just a little excited. This place, it feels... Loading. Dead. Yeah. Like the inhabitants disappeared in a flash. The wind, the world, it all feels vacant. Like we're all sitting on a sacred site that has was to remain undisturbed. You sound a little scared. A true warrior fears nothing. I guess I'm not a true warrior, though. I'll, it's putting me on edge. Like any moment, something will rise and devour me. We're all here together. I might not be able to do much to fight, but you can count on me. Don't worry. I haven't trained for years just to let somebody... Spooky camp make me run in fright. Depending on you is my no, sorry. Defending you is my duty. <laughs> Depending is not. Right. I just feel really ill here. Can we go soon? We will soon. If there's anything I can do to help you out, or is there anything I can do to help you out? I have some tea if you'd like it. <laughs> of course, because this is Asian made. There's gonna be tea all the time. <laughs> I don't know, like. Everyone always associates tea with Brits, but I swear it's started in Asia, so it's just <laughs> the most Asian thing to me. Tea is a sage's drink, not a brave warrior's. But thanks for thinking of me. So what's a brave warrior's drink, monster? Aren't all warriors supposed to be scholars as well as fighters? Try some. You caught me. It's too bitter for my taste. I like sweet things. Kaffir. So things aren't like you? That aren't like you. <laughs> That's what I said. A near oh. art. Oh, well, art! <laughs> I'm so sweet that you can't leave me out in the rain. <laughs> Did you find anything? Whoever was here fled quickly, but ensured that we could have no easy way to follow them. It could be possible that the researchers were captured by pirates. Pirates would have taken everything of value. That generator over there is worth thousands, but it was left behind. Then what do you think happened, lizard brain? I don't know. If you're going to shoot down my theory, at least have something to replace it with. Ground team, this is the bridge. Go ahead. Negative on those scans. We're all alone down there. Thanks. Peace seal out. I told you, the wind never lies. So... you have no clues. It would appear so. Someone's trying very hard to make sure we do not find out what the researchers were doing. Faye shoves her way past Zuri's outstretched wings, clearly trying to get to me in a hurry. Um... I might have a clue. Is it a giant footprint? <laughs> Did you find a bone or something? I'm not a dog. You always fool me. Please hurry, Major. I didn't want to touch it. Is it hazardous? Soul, get our chem gear. 
Roger. No, 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 no. It's you just need to see it for yourself. Captain <laughs> Captain Moonfall leads me to a spot on the far edge of camp. The soil is disturbed, and I can see where she was digging. <laughs> was she secretly looking for a bone? <laughs> if she was, she found one. A data pad lies half buried in the soil. The corner of the rectangular tab tablet juts out. I can only assume that Captain Moonfall was pulling it out when she realized I should do it. <laughs> how how do you find my voice for Moonfall? Just like. <laughs> It's it's good. She's like a lazy, super, sleepy puppy. I was gonna say super laid back, you know. Yeah. I'm good at it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's actually you with dog ears. Except that's a girl. I don't know. She looks like she has really manly pectorals. And then the rest of her body is just really wimpy. Ah uh, well, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> She doesn't have super pronounced tips, it's just like, I don't know. You are very smart to leave the extraction to me. We don't want to risk damaging it. That's not it. Th that isn't dirt staining the screen. Oh, it's fucking bloody. <laughs> Curiosity gets the better of me, so I skip safety falling procedures and pull it out without being delicate. She's right, that dirt stain is far too red f uh, to be from this soil. Perhaps they found it on another planet. If they found it somewhere with red sand, or... That makes no sense. Why would they dig it up one place just to bury it... To bury it another. To bury it on another. It would have been a splotchy pattern. It wouldn't have been a splotchy plat pattern like it has now if it was from soil. Could it be... Blood? Dried up blood? It smells like it. Blood, but... Who's? Why? Who'd bury a blood-covered data pad? I don't know, to hide their murder? Yeah. How deep was it? Barely under the surface. I was looking for more signs of disturbed ground, but none of the others had anything buried in them. Drats. Still, we might be able to pull something useful from this one. We shouldn't stay here. What do you mean? We need to do a full scan of the area. It's possible that we might may find the fate of our missing researchers. There's something wrong here. Very wrong. The land. My father always taught me to listen to the animals. If you can't hear them, he said, you should run. Even though I've got a slightly worrisome feeling, I don't feel anything like Zuri or Moonfollow are talking about. Still, I would be unwise to ignore the advice of my crew. Everyone, gather up. We'll head back to the Nimros and investigate this data pad there further. Don't tell me you're getting cold feet because of a spooked puppy who can't handle a little blood. I can. Major, please listen to us. We need to go now. Darkness is setting. That's just a storm cloud. You can't seriously think you're going to dissolve because you're so sweet. Soul, our security officer just said that they don't feel safe here anymore. We are going. Uh, fine. I look at the storm clouds off in the distance. I don't like retreating from a mystery, but if my crew is to trust me, I must trust in, in them. Besides, I've got a potential clue. I brush off the remaining specks of dirt from the tarnished silver casing. My, my little enigma must have something important on it. It has to. Someone tried hiding this one. I can only hope it was a researcher who didn't want whatever got the other computers. Wh what? Okay. It must have some... It must be someone who knows the truth can never die. People don't murder others over old trinkets and ruins. Something important was here. Something, Perhaps something dangerous. Command wouldn't have sent me after old pottery. A weapon, maybe? A weapon is something people would kill over. A weapon is worth some worth sending out a Saito. A weapon. Could there have been an ancient weapon of mass destruction buried on these grounds? Have we disturbed the grounds of a mystery best left unsolved? Zuri lightly gripped my shoulder, bringing me back to reality. Sorry. E everyone pull out. As I slept out of the... As I step out of the shuttle airlock, I can't help but feel a little happy. 
It almost feels like returning home after a long day at work. Actually, that is what it is. Huh. I... never really thought about it. This ship is my home now. The commander should hear about her discoveries. I'm going to report it to her before I tear this thing apart. Go on ahead. I need a word with Lieutenant Zuri. Huh? Soul, it was my decision to come back home. I know, and I accept that. I just need to talk to her about something work-related. Alright, don't be too long. This'll be quick. Do you think she'll be alright with him? Uh, mm. <laughs> Tell the commander that I got mud all over my boots. I'll be there shortly. I'll go tell her. Thanks. I barely make it ten feet before Soul's deep voice booms out. <laughs> I gotta yell. Lieutenant, what were you thinking out there? Thoughts? That's what most people think. Let me make myself a little more clear. When I looked up for my investigation, do you know what I saw? The sun? A bird? Natalie? If you knew what was good for you, you would stop talking. I saw you, Lieutenant, staring off into space when she was on duty. I wasn't staring off into space, I swear, Major! Okay, the forest. I don't care where you were staring. It wasn't any of your security, security equipment. Let me be clear. I barely tolerate your constant accidental assaults, your lax behavior, and your disrespect. I somehow managed to muster the strength each day not to write all of that paperwork. But when we finally have a real use for you, the last thing I imagined you doing was standing there with your mouth open. You keep telling me how you want to be a real warrior. I, I do. I, I am. Then what the hell were you doing out there? The whole team was in danger because of your actions. I had it under control. Why can't you trust me? Mind your tone. Uh -huh. Sir, I wasn't zoning out or whatever you think it might have been. Oh, and what were you doing, Lieutenant? I was sensing the wind. <laughs> you sound like a fucking hippie, I swear. It's true. What? With my wings, I can detect the slightest vibrations in the air, which allows me to detect any threat long before it gets close to us. That's amazing. Y you think so? Of course. How can anyone be so remarkably stupid proves that we clearly have, no, have not hit the bottom of the barrel? I knew it. I thought so too. I just hoped for a second that he wasn't a dick. That's amazing. You're a fucking idiot. I know. I'm so upset now. Soul's a dick. Like, that's amazing. Like, I should have done it, like, really. No, no, no. No, you have to say it like, that's amazing. That you're a total fucking idiot. Yep, yep. That's how it has to be. I, I suck with, like, the tone for these. Like, I need, like, I need to, like, take a second first, I think, sometimes. <laughs> you need to take lessons from me. Yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> Even then, I screw it up sometimes, so it's like, yeah. That happens. It's true! I don't doubt that you believe in your freaky mutant superpower. However, can you tell me what this is? It's my sensor monitor. And what does it do? It allows me to monitor my sensors that I placed around our camp. Sir. And now I'm sir again. You know what I'm going to say, don't you? That I should have relied upon my sensors per regulation, sir. I know it's pointless to say, but if you know that, I should, shouldn't have to remind you. Don't slack at the next sight. I'm counting on you to protect us. Swords. Yes, sir. And watch where you put those talons of yours. You smashed a couple of bottles at the site I, that I was going to inspect. Soul looks exacerbated. 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 You can't with this word right now. I'm sorry, I'm used to Shaun of the Dead of the word exacerbated. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> What? <laughs> it means to make things worse. <laughs> Soul looks ex exasperated, but I'm on the fence if I should support him. True, Zuri needs to follow her checklists, 
but having a second layer of defenses is smart. What if Zuri's method had detected something the sensors couldn't read? But what if Zuri missed something on her sensors, sensors and we got attacked? Both of them are right. I want to move in to support them and end this, but I can't undermine the Nimros' executive officer when he is setting his standards. All I can do is support them both and hope that they someday see that they both could have been right or wrong today. Oh, hey. You seem to hold up pretty well. He must have been in a good mood today. He actually yelled at me for something other than being a lizard. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Besides, a good warrior doesn't let petty insults get under her skin. She says... She, she says as she brushes away something that glistened from the corner of her eye. Still, her ability to bounce back is admirable. If it makes you feel better, I didn't feel like I was in any danger with you there. I felt like we were in danger. It was like the land was crying out in anger at our arrival. Land? Crying out? I'll have to check the shuttle's external audio recorders to see if there was something I didn't hear. She <laughs> means, like, no. <laughs> well, no, no, I mean, there's been reports where, like, ghosts can say stuff into, like, a mic, and you could never hear it with your ears, you know? So That is... You know, it's those very inaudible sounds that can only be picked up through certain devices. That's true. So. I forget my, my times of watching Ghost Adventures. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Nat, thanks for staying up for me out there. Don't look so surprised. What did you think I was going to do? Call you Lizard Brain and ignore your recommendations? You're good friends with Soul, so yeah, actually. <laughs> Just because we're friends doesn't mean we see eye to eye on everything. I trust him, Zuri, but I trust you as well. You trust me? I've never heard that before. What? Most people only say that they can trust me to screw things up. I'm going to be the best warrior there is. You can count on me, Nat. People trust her to screw things up. Well, um, I meant that I can trust her because she's a fellow soldier. No. Siri seems so passionate. I want to have faith in her. It would it would be of ill would be ill of me to not not to give her my full support. God damn it. You and the negative. Let's go back. I'll show you. I'll fight the evil storm threatening to destroy you. How about we go report in to the commander before she becomes an evil storm herself? Roger I like her. It's going to be, it's good to have a kind, good spirited security officer. Victory and promotions are assured. I actually have come to love Zuri in a really weird way. God, her voice though. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. No, don't worry about it. Seriously, that's that's actually pretty fucking accurate probably. I I think so. Ma'am, Major Pucil, report I found the escape trails for the shuttles. Welcome back, Major. I found all five of their escape trails to throw us off. I bet you didn't find anything. I've already heard your story, Lieutenant. But she hasn't. I bet you are regretting not sending me along now, aren't you? And unfortunately, in just a second, we're going to have to stop. Ah, uh, yeah. The camp was abandoned. It didn't appear to be ransacked, but we were unable to locate any documents or electronic devices. So, that's where we'll stop today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> more of us doing our stupid voices. Um, <laughs> God damn it, Ari. Seriously, you're going forward in pages. <laughs> I'm going to save on this page still. So, I hope <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, we, we're having fun doing this, so we're going to be doing this for the next while at least you know until we get done with the game um it's fun to play i hope you guys are enjoying it this is all before we've even posted the first episode secretly shh they don't know that yeah, why they, tell them because it's not a secret <laughs> and i don't give a shit if people know well i mean it's good to do things kind of in sequence and then yeah post it exactly get things to look forward for look forward to yeah exactly who and cares i don't care if people know 
Like I've let I've said like, hey, I'm gonna record multiples of some videos if I feel like it, you know? Yeah, so. it's just how things work. Yeah, exactly. So anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. It's uh it's gonna be fun playing this. It might be like another couple weeks before we do more, or we might record more, you know, two days from now. Who knows? But Who knows? yeah. <laughs> anyway guys, uh I hope you enjoyed. Um and we'll talk to you uh next time. Peace.